the, the girls are not so innocent. That's what you're no, saying. No, 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 trust me. Far, far from being innocent. Um, you can't allow this to happen. You know? Which other country you know that players are going to ask you who the coaching staff is, who will be the, 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 who will be the, um, the, the medical staff? <laughs>
for me to resign because it doesn't make sense. You you're going going to a program that is stacked against you by forces that, that has nothing to do with football. You know, um, I, I call yeah. them influencers. So I decided to, to just resign. <clears throat> and, you know, we've seen the influencers right now making a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> it won't stop. No, but, it won't stop. Yeah. But not <laughs> only with the, the regular girls, we've seen this with the Spanish national team. Yes. You know, in terms of player power. What are your thoughts mm -hmm. on player power? Well, look at two ways, you know, it doesn't play a power in the beginning. You know, the player tried the same thing that they, that they tried with me. The president stood up to them and said, no, yeah. you can't dictate who will coach my team or the national team. Which is so, right. Which is yeah, right. This yeah, this is it. And that's a good position. And it paid off for him. They wanted, they wanted, they wanted to run the World Cup. Right? Without those, it was 12 girls because there was 15 in the, in the beginning and three went back to the program. So without those 12 girls who thought they were needed, they brought in other players and um, they won the World Cup. So all those 12 girls are short 210,000 US dollars now that each player got, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> and I mean, uh, my, my, my disappointment is, it, is that the president got himself mixed up in other things, you know, but exactly. um, you can't allow this to happen, you know, which other country, you know, that Players are going to ask you who the coaching staff is, who will be the, 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 the who will be the um the, the medical staff. You know, there should be they should, I have no problem. They should be concerned with their money. Right? Yes, we are owed X amount of money. We have not been paid from from this over a period of time. Yeah, those are things you must concentrate on. They, they have nothing to do with coaching and um who the who the um who the, the medical staff would be. And that's what they're talking about, right? Medical staff, GFF has a person in charge of uh, the medical department who, who selects. And for, for, for those who don't, don't understand or know the runnings, the medical staff is selected from people who are available. When a doctor works for the national program, he or she has given up a lots of money to be a part, to come and support us, right? And we have right now, we have a, one medical staff that has been going with the regulars. And I believe in that, really, because they know the, the injuries, they know the state of the player, they know everything about the player. So I don't believe in switching medical staff if you don't have to. But it's not the prerogative of the players to say who goes with the team. Sometimes the, the, the present doctor may not be able to go for other reasons. So you have to find a replacement, right? What I would want to see is that getting a replacement, there's a record of ex exactly what happens with um, a record of what happens with the girls and they know exactly if a new doctor comes in she know what the, what's the problem to your a so when it, she can treat it or he can treat it then if it, if it comes up again but those are the areas i don't think that they should be getting themselves involved in but you see it, mm -hmm. this was what was allowed they were allowed to do from the beginning in my time <clears throat> you know and um it continues um we've seen a lot of <clears throat> We've seen a lot of issues in terms of when people talk, mm -hmm. you know, board member being suspended and we know what happened mm -hmm. to, to Lauren, you know, mm -hmm. you know, while he was, you know, talking to the media. Did they, yes. while you were a coach, did the JFF put anything in a contract to say, do not talk about anything and were you ever brought to any meeting, you know? No, you see, my approach is different to Eddie, so it, I wouldn't be forced in that direction. I don't. I don't take on the, the JFF in public. Right. When young ladies were getting their contract, I'm the one that negotiated with Dalton, with the then general secretary. And we never made anything public. Um, we, we, I discussed, I had, I had a lot of, and you talk to Dalton with right now, you tell you about a lot of in, um, conversation with him that we were back and forth about whatever should be done. But that's my style, right? Unfortunately, that's not what the style of other people are there. We're there before and now and back there again. You know, we, we air dirty laundry for no reason at all. So it, it, it passes down to the players, right? The players should not be involved with certain things. They should be occupied with playing football, defending their salary, if that's an in case. But the other internal things are not their concern. It should be done, it should be discussed with the coach, right? 
the present coach and not the, not the manager, not the influencers, not anybody else. You know, I, 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 um, sorry. I think that that's the reason why I was never involved with it. There are a lot of things in the background that, that I had to address that we could come out and say the same thing they're complaining about now. About yeah. being, or they're being treated with the hotel. And I don't, not everything that you hear is true. When the young ladies come to Jamaica, they stay in the best hotel, the same hotel that the reggae boys stay in. Right? And it makes it seem as if, and I'm not, def- let me be clear this right away, Eddie. I'm not defending JF. I'm just, I like facts. And I like, if you're going to be, if you're going to be doing something and criticizing the, the association, criticize them. Right? But it, it must be done on facts. Right, in, in, everything you do, it must be you know, must be informed decision. And um, I know the fact that when they come there, they're staying in the best hotels. This uh, before we used to stay in my time back in 2006, 2007, 2008, we used to stay at the regular girls, regular boys' house. Right now, they're staying in luxurious hotels. Right, so I don't, there are certain areas that we have to be very careful of how we say things about what's happening and read what they're saying. In my instance, 99% of the thing they were saying about what I didn't do was that what wasn't true. And I had proof of it to show. So we have to be very careful. I think that if you're if you're taking a position, Eddie, it should be a position, um, an informed position. So people go on social media. I can't blame them. They hear this all these things happen in JFF. It's JFF's fault. That, that is JFF's fault. Because if you hear the, all the money is being spent on, on who's spending the money, JFF says nothing. So if I if I say if, if Eddie come out and say, you know, I give JFF a 30,000 hours to a camp and the JFF doesn't put the same thing about it, then people are going to believe it's Eddie going to send, pay for everything. You know, the JFF has yeah. to, have, you know, they had to be more um, open and transparent to what they were, you know, so people can understand what's happening in the association and the affiliation with people around the game. Yeah, yeah, of course. I, I get you, but in terms of, I know you said that you're not the type to, you know, mm-hmm. speak out in public. Mm-hmm. But say for instance, the situation that happened to Lauren the other day, where the, the, the players came to camp, you know, were preparing for the Canada game and there mm-hmm. wasn't any equipment, no equipment at all for the, mm-hmm. the, the players to use. Stuff like that. And when if you are being interviewed by the media, it will be hard not to bring up that. No, no, that is different. That's a different thing, Eddie. That is something that is you're being asked right there. How you answer it makes a difference. Yeah. Because from 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 I've been with the national program, and I can't I'm not I'm, I can't compare from 2005 not to now because we are a different it's a difference you know the, the the girls are more um, accommodated than when I back then but I cannot remember one time that we never had uniforms to training you know, when we never had any equipment to train I can never remember so I can't speak to that if that happened I can't speak to it. I don't know why that would have happened I, if I knew what happened i would defend it because but i have never ever seen a situation where they come to camp and there is nothing for them to use maybe 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 they didn't maybe they didn't get enough you yeah, know i don't know mm-hmm. you know but i don't know i've never known them to come and things are not ready <clears throat> all right your your successor lauren donaldson you know historic run with the girls runner 16 at the world cup mm-hmm. I'm going to put you on the spot. Did mm. you think that it was a correct decision to not renew his contract? To not what? To not renew his contract. No, no, no. Well, that's their prerogative. It's JFS prerogative, firstly. But the timing of it, I think, was wrong. Yeah. Because you have a tournament coming up a month after. Right? And if you if if you knew that you're gonna not re, re, renew his contract, you must have known that. It, it not a spur of the moment thing. The man went to the World Cup, did well at the World Cup, right? Never did well in, in, with the game against Canada, but so what? You know. But if you knew, I think it was premeditated. But if you knew that, you should have had people in place. That so it's extra, the turnover can be can be can be smooth. But um, yeah. I think the timing was wrong. I think the timing was wrong. I think, it, it, I think again, it didn't have much to do with football. Because you can't, you, you, you can't just come off a, a, a good World Cup, right? And you had, let's say you had two bad games, right? That's not a reason to, to get rid of a coach. 
But if you're going to get rid of him, extend it until after the World Cup. And then you get rid of him. You know, but I personally I never believe it. it's, a, it's, a, it's not a good move for, 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 the, for the team itself. You, all right. All the, everybody knows the, 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 the climate of the girls and what happens with the girls and the, and the whole what, the duration of the program took. Yeah. Right? They run things. As I said to the president, you gave them a franchise. You gave the, you gave up a franchise to the two, but the franchise and I want to talk to that later on about youth development. But you give it, you give them a franchise. The franchise decide what they wants to do, and you have no control over it. So if you if you know if you get with a long dance at that point, there's going to be some kickback from both the girls and whoever else. Exactly, that was obvious. Public. Yeah, man, that was so <laughs> obvious. Mm -hmm. And it brings me to my next question. Knowing what they know now, um, was it wise to suspend the girls? But they're no, saying the girls that them, they, they, the girls suspending themselves. You know? Yes, it <laughs> no, is. The, the wrong thing that JFF did, and, and JFF had, had no obligation to the girls to invite them, just like senior boys. You know, the coach who comes in decides who he invites. That is maybe true. under the, under the in. Under the instruction of the JFF, they could say, well, we're not going with these girls for now, so please look outside of those that, this group. You don't have to suspend them. Suspending them is, is, suspending them is what? What are you putting? The noise, the suspension is to show that who's in charge. The suspension of, from being selected. They're suspended yeah. from being selected. Yeah. In a sense. It's, it's, a matter of, it's a matter of flexing the muscle. Yeah. You know, you do this, so we're going to do this. Is that is a power so struggle? Your, your thing, yeah, yeah. Power struggle. So it's not it's not about the whole look of the thing. Is not right. I don't care what the girls are doing, and whatever the girls are doing, Eddie, they're all new already. They they knew the position of the girls is nothing new, you know. It's not, and it is my time. It was from my time it was happening, but I did not come out and make this sort of or, or, or noise over it. Even 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 with the. Coming up to the four games I won. If you know the things that I have to go through with these girls, you, 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 I mean, people will be shocked. But it was for better you, we you, the country to move you forward. Do, you do wish to tell us two of those things? No, 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 it doesn't make sense, though. No. I mean, they okay. went to the World Cup. That's, that's constant. I want to focus on the fact that they went to the World Cup, right? And not what happened before. That, that had nothing to do with it, no. I could call names. I could name what people did. It, it don't make any sense. They know what they did. They know what they did to, um, when I when I was being forced out, as you say, right? They they know before even right. before even before some people come in, they were they were, they were setting setting me up. So you're saying said, that the girls, so one huh? of the coach, you're, say, you're saying that the coach are not the, the girls are not so innocent. That's what you're no, saying. No, 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 trust me, far far from being innocent, right? But as I said, I took the high road. I'm not going down there with them. I'm not going down there with them. At my age, I don't need to do that. You remember, you know, all five Jamaican girls, every single one of them from Trudy Carter right up to um, Bonnie. I coach them from the world 13. I bring them, them to the program. Yeah. And what some of them must understand that if it's not for the Jamaican pro, um, um, national team, they wouldn't be where they were. They are now. No, no doubt. If they've never been exposed, Bonnie was exposed at 15, right? And um, Brown, Jody Brown was exposed at 12. I brought her in on a 15 program. Bonnie played on at 20, was, she was 15, right? She played all the, all the areas, 17, 15, and 20 at a very young age. I'm not saying they should give in to what the JFF is doing. No, not, not that. I'm just saying sometimes you have to reflect. You know, and be a little more um uh, trying to find a word yeah, but accommodating maybe, but not giving to them. You know, I think JFF position was wrong and it was based on a lot of things that happened in the in the in the in the, in the behind the scenes that caused it to happen like that. From the president coming down. <clears throat> yeah, and obviously this will have an effect on, on the women's game in Jamaica. Um, well, what are some well, of the, back, the backlash? What do you think about that? Well, this is where I wanted to go. I, every time I talk about the women's program, 
the backlash came from 2019 that the women's program there's no women's program in jamaica none and and, and the hypocrisy of some of the the, the, the coaches now talking about or oh, we don't have any development in Jamaica. They're the, one that, they're the ones that cause the non-development of the game. From, from There's no one coming through the system apart from those five, right, that are in the program now, that, are, that went to the World Cup. There's nobody coming through. Right now, right now we had two teams, one in, in, Pan, in the Pan American Games in Chile. Yeah, and this one coming right now. In, huh? They're playing Mexico right now. They're playing Mexico right now. And that team, we couldn't we could hardly find a team to go there. They were calling players who played for me back in 2005, 2006. Yeah. And I'm so also I, seen find a, I saw a 14 year old in, in that squad as well. Yeah, the 14 year old come from Excelsior, probably. Yeah. You know, and, and, and if you notice, it's Excelsior and the others, right? Yeah. And those are things that has to stop, right? We, in, back, in, back then in 2006, 2007, we could find two national teams. If it's, not, if, it's, if it's even to send an under 20 team, you could find them. There, are, there hasn't been no development. Uh, Sherman Williams was the last person, last big um, uh, sponsor they had. We had, right? We don't have any development going on because they, and other people take this thing. I hear a lot of people talking, and I mean, they're, they're, they're there to talk, but they're talking about what they have done for the football in Jamaica, women's football, that have grown and they grown where? We had ninety five percent of players that came from that played the trade in the, in, the, in the UK. They never played in Jamaica one day, one day. So what? Where's the development? And we need to stop that type of a talk because development has to be all right. For instance, the president legacy, right? It, the president legacy leaving if he loses the election. Like, oh, I went to two World Cups, right? How many players have you, have been developed in Jamaica now that we can say? You know, can make the national the, the World Cup team in another four years. None, absolutely none. none. Right? But and, you know, they, they will say that to, to counter that in a coach, they mm -hmm. will say that we have the diaspora to feed us with players. We have players from America and players from the UK. But yeah. maybe at but, some point that, that talent pool will, will run dry. No, no. That that talent pool in diaspora has nothing to do with development in Jamaica. Yeah, I get that's that. a band-aid. That's a band-aid situation, Eddie. We bring in players and we look good. Right? Back in 2006, 2006, 2007, we had 99.9% .9 all local players. Good team. Yeah. Right? And them times USA used to scout us, Canada used to scout us. Right? Because we had good teams. I'm not saying you can't bring in national overseas players. I'm not saying that. My position is. At the under 15 level, that's our development level. You cannot bring in 15 overseas players at that level because you're killing the whole pro program, right? It's likewise a person's talking about the Premier League. But we, when we talk about Premier League with the boys, them boys are 25, 26, 28 year old. If you don't call them in, you call them not at the level. So that, that's it, they're not at the level. But at under not, 15 yeah. level, yeah, on a 15 level, on a 17 level is our development period that we know the girls, not all of them in transition into the CDT. We know that's a fact. It happens all over the world. People who played for Spain when they were 15 year old, under 15, they will make it to Spain national team. That's that's a part of it. But at least you have a base for development. Right? And then we have a, we have a when we had high school girls in the early 1998, and we had four. I think I might be wrong, but it, I know it was over 40 teams. And the, and the finals and semifinals just play a national stadium. That's how interesting people were about the program. And then we just let it went, go down and down and down. And then the senior team comes in and we, we big up this thing about national. We brought in 90 players. Now, I inherited when I came in and I couldn't make any changes then. And I were, because they were already there, the squad, when, when Busby. With Busby um, group when I when I go the first um, round of the qualifiers, right? But the other person that came through were the Jamaicans right there. But you don't have any players now. I think that we we went to the World Cup and we, we we qualified for the World Cup at the expense of the development of our game in Jamaica. Our game in Jamaica, Eddie, is not about getting the girls to a Premier League team. Our, our, our team in the US, in the US 
only about 1% of the girls would go, right? Our, our program in Jamaica com, um, comes around the, 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 the girls getting a chance with a scholarship. Go away, improve themselves, play some football. Some of them don't even play football afterwards, right? But then go there and get that education and come. That's what underpins our, should underpin our program. If they go on it and one and two leave and go to um and get a get, that's fine. But girls that don't have that luxury of how many clubs. That is true. You see, I have five thousand kids that can go to any league, league right? Why right. are you going to bring these girls to pay their money to do that? No, right? When you get to a certain level, yes, you can probably go. But I think that we should remember that our program, right, is 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 forced forced on getting our players to a scholarship. Those those days are gone. Have you given up on, on the Jamaica team? Suppose you know who to know who to tell um, new new leader. If you were given a call, would you accept a, a role in women's football? Are no, you no, done? No, no. No, 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 no. I don't think, I don't think, first of all, my kids would, would kill me. <laughs> they didn't want me to go in the first place. Right? And I did go. You know, because um, I was in a good, I was in a good job in US Virgin Islands and I, I, I decided that I would love to finish up on, on a high note in my career. I never turned out that way. But if um, all that I've been through, and they, they've heard it, they've heard it, uh, I don't think they would want me to do that. And uh, me personally, I have no interest in doing that. I'm moving on to, um, I'll be moving on to a country to take care of their football program there. That's that's about it. We're not going to name the country, but you know, that, that's my, the that's where my head is now. Regionally? Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. But it just, it just um, I, it's a full hard of me to really go and put myself in that position again, you know? Um, especially the same people are in 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 in, in place. Um, yeah. There there are a lot of things Eddie that surrounds the game that is not good for the game. A lot of things, a lot of things, and people are benefiting from 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 it. You know, and we are we are this way. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think we need a strong administration to to really step up and say this is what we need. Right. What is happening in in our country? What is happening with football? The young girls there, they're not getting an opportunity. Because there's no focus on that area of the game. No focus. No, Jamaica might be in trouble with FIFA. If, yeah. the, if the election does not go to plan this year. So it's election mm -hmm. year, the whole year in the, mm -hmm. in the date being called. Um, anything can happen. Can, can Jamaica stomach a ban if it were to be banned from by FIFA? Could be managed? No. You no, know, it would it would be it would be devastating for our program because a lot of people would be affected. It would be that overall ban on, on Jamaica participating, which I don't think will happen. I think FIFA FIFA will easier ban the president from running again than than to ban an entire program. Unless FIFA unless JFF did something completely out of place, you know. Um, that affect the game. I don't, but I don't think there will be a ban. I don't really believe that. I know, I know, J, I know FIFA has visited there a, a couple of times, well, for the past two yeah. years. But um, I think they're more interested in the financial side of things and how the, on the operation side. You know, they don't think they they're worried about um, participation. You know. But Mike Ricketts are Raymond Anderson. Who do you think is a front runner? Um, I, I've heard that is uh, Raymond, but you know, you know, you see politics. You know, it's still politics. But they want it. It's football politics. There are, 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 are country parties. The same thing. Somebody yeah. can say, okay, I'm going to be voting for him, for Raymond, or I'm going to be voting for Mike. And on the day when them write them, them ballots is is something something else. They will say these yeah. things. Let me tell you, a lot of these uh, people. I'm not going to single out any parish or anything, right? But it happened before with. Creston Boxing and and and, um, and Captain Burrell back when the Boxing one. Um, Captain um, God rest his soul. I think he was absolutely sure he was going to win. Based on the feedback he was getting from the different presidents, but then here come Boxing. You now you never know what behind the scenes. I won't call the name, but behind the scenes things happened and Captain Burrell left. 
but it, but it proved that I mean, box, he came back because he realized the mistakes he made then. Then, you know, but um, I've heard, I've heard um, that Anderson is a forefunder, but for a forerunner, but yeah, you know, that's not something that you can go by. Trust me. And the day, whatever day it is called, because I've seen nowhere that it, it might be extended to next year, the, the, the full team. Yeah, yeah, year. I heard it on the news. Yeah, yeah. So that's strategy you now. Mm -hmm. The president has the, I think they have the, the right to call the meet to, to, to tell when it, it, the uh, nation is going to be. So maybe, maybe he doesn't see that he's in a good position now. That's what I go, yeah, obviously it's not the right time. <laughs> it's, it's not the right time for him. It, it would no, be foolish. No, no. It, it too many, it, it, the one thing I, I'm disappointed in, say what you might say, I'm, and people I might have said about Captain Bird and Horace Reed. Um, they never had that type of a confusion, that type of a, you know, every day is something different. If it's one, mm -hmm. but you can say, okay, okay, they take care of this one. Out. But next month is a different thing. And the following month is a different thing. It, it just was confusing, man. You know, uh, it didn't, it's not a good look. It's not a, it's like, it's like a, okay, what, you can say, okay, what's the coming next year? What's coming next month? You know, you, you can almost expect well, something. It's a, it's, a, it's a Netflix series. Yeah. yeah. We're not doing it <laughs> We're just waiting on the other episode. <laughs> yeah, because too much, too much things, man. And you can't get to, as you get over one, the other one hit you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know. It does, it's not a good look for Mike. It's not a good look for him. Um, but, you know, you never can tell. All right. I, I think we can leave it there. Mm -hmm. uh, folks, that's another episode of the Off the Bench podcast. I'm your host, Eddie Gona. That was Coach been playing mm -hmm. and we're out you know the drill like share and subscribe all right man. i'm right your girl tiffany cameron you're watching eddie vision tv like share and subscribe